Hi. Hi, kings and queens. Very, very, very late today. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> I got runny nose. <clears throat> I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and I'm going to start. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm all dolled up is because... Um, <laughs> I have a Christmas event to go to today that our Lord and Esme was invited to. And it was actually a prayer request that, um, I, it was just a desire. And uh, one of uh, the royalty family, one of the heirs listening, um, just blessed me with um, tickets to a event. Um, just, I'm thankful, I'm thankful. So I don't know, I'm late. I know I was supposed to go on between 3.30, 3, 4, around there. I try to keep y'all updated more or less. So. Y'all can um, come on with me, but I'm going to go ahead and start. Everybody's probably busy. Mm -mm. And I also went live on um, Lord and Esme Beauty Salon because I was um, trying to get... Well, I was doing a video so I could do a tutorial while I was doing my makeup. So I could give y'all some um, makeup techniques. <clears throat> However, that didn't work out either. But I'm going to open in prayer. I'm going to go ahead and start, I guess, because I don't know who's going to log in. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for Erin her lungs, Lord. I thank you for, um, I thank you for the opportunity to uh, die to the flesh, to speak through the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that you have invested in me. I pray that everyone that is under the sound of my voice, that they know that there's no accidents with you, Lord. Everything is intentional. I thank you for the wisdom, revelation, knowledge, insight, and clarity, much, much insight beyond our years of age, Lord. I pray that they leave this video just transformed, awakened, and that my transparency just awakens and blesses their life, Lord, to just be different as this video um, is being created. I just thank you, Father, for the power that you have um, invested in me to bring the word, to die to the flesh, to speak to the power of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for everyone that is under the sound of my voice, that you are transformed, awakened, and leave this video changed, forever different, and more educated and awakened to God's truth. So today is Wednesday. We're in the middle of the week. Um, December 16th. <clears throat> God, we're already like more than halfway in the month of December. Um, then God said, let the earth bring forth the, li li the living creature according to its kind. And this is from Genesis 124, New King, G New King James Version. <clears throat> and the truth of creation part five. This is going to be the last, um, the last the last uh, part of the truth of creation because this has been the fifth day and um well genesis 124 is then god said let the earth produce living creatures according to their kinds livestock creatures that crawl and the wildlife of the earth according to their kinds and it was so i like a lot of the genesis um one um the created to create i originally got that from genesis 128 where it says that man is created um in god's image and for us to be created in god's image is one of the greatest like honors and glory i think just for us because i mentioned yesterday in the video that we are the only uh creation that can look around and have this you know this spirit and this soul that we can look around and just see things and take it in and you know acknowledge that the Lord created this, you know, animals, they look around and I, I don't really know what animals think, but I know that they're not humans. And the one thing that um, I've mentioned that in Genesis, the Lord really, you know, showed me that we were created to create. Um, many times when we look around, you know, creation in itself, I don't know if it does for y'all, but for me, it speaks. Hi, King. Thank you for joining. I'm really, really late. I'm sorry. Um, thank you for joining either way. I pray that your time is invested, is blessed. But as I was mentioning that we are the only creation, um, as God mentioned in Genesis 124, that God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature and every creature is crying, like the ones to crawl, the ones to swim, the ones to create. And I believe that we all play a part in creating in this world, um, especially in your environment, wherever it is that you are, it's not an accident. You know, I... I, I sometimes because I hear like, oh, that's God's will. And sometimes we're out of God's will. I personally wonder a lot about that. I've studied. I, I haven't come to a confirmation or anything, even in the spirit that um, can confirm. Uh, hi, my love. That can confirm, um, you know, if we're in God's will or we're out of God's will. What I do know is that God created us all in his image. 
and however and he knows exactly what we're going through he knows exactly what we've been through and he knows exactly like what's gonna come so whatever it is that you may feel that right now like where you're at because i've always like questioned that i've always asked like well am i in god's will or is this god's will and what i've realized by experience and educating and researching is that when you feel like you're out of god's will it's probably exactly where he wants you and if he created animals to crawl and he created animals to swim many times we want to go and like animals i mentioned in the last video too uh, animals cannot go like a, a, a fish cannot go be um he cannot go be a chicken a chicken cannot go be a fish you know they stay in their own lane and like this is one thing that i've learned a lot about is eagles you know they're related to the chicken However, chickens never leave the ground. You know, they basically get eaten all the time. You know, they're for eggs and they're, you know, they fuel us as humans. But eagles, um, they're not eaten. They were created to soar and a chicken can't be an eagle. And an eagle certainly probably wouldn't ever want to be a chicken. But I, that speaks to me in itself a lot. That speaks to me, especially as humans, we always want to go and do what other people do. And I'm going to even say like, transparency being truthful is that like many times i've seen a lot of makeup artists that they do this this and they're successful they have great influence and they're traveling the world fulfilling you know desires of their hearts and what god has shown me is that i created everyone you know specifically with a, a purpose everybody like i do makeup and i do makeup now especially i've been doing like uh the bible and beauty studies because for me, I feel like if I'm going to bring the word, I'm going to bring like makeup techniques and stuff like that. I think that as I'm bringing, you know, the tutorial and the education on how to apply makeup the way I do it, um, I feel like I must bring the word. So if you're looking beautiful externally, I feel that God's word and God's truth heals, heals us internally. So the one thing that is, is, is that I'm getting from, from this, um, that the Lord is revealing to me is that whatever it is, and I mentioned this yesterday, whatever it is that you were created to create, you have a specific way of doing it. And the way that you do it is not going to be like anyone else. No one can fulfill exactly what you were created to fulfill. And no one can do it like you. God gives everybody word, you know, he gives everybody a, a word, a promise. He, he created you to create something specific in your community, in your family, in your world. And whatever it is that you're creating in that environment, it's going to create in others to create further and further. It's just like a domino effect. If you're creating misery, if you're planting misery, you're going to sow misery. If you're planting love, you're going to reap love. And I'm going to tell you, you can plant love many times and sometimes you will not reap love. Sometimes you'll reap complete opposite. However, whatever it is that you're reaping and whatever it is that you're sowing, I'm sorry, whatever it is that you're sowing, eventually you're sowing whatever God called you to sow so you will reap what he wants you to reap so even though it may look like in the in the <laughs> right in front of you it may look like oh my god like it's getting worse or it's getting worse whatever I'm doing I'm trying to do this in love and it's not it's not working I'm reaping you know things that are hurting me why is this happening but I believe that everything is or or it's like ordained by God Whatever it is that's happening in your life, if you're continuing to do right by God, if you're continuing to do right by your loved ones, if you're continuing to do right by the people that persecute you, you give that power to God to handle what needs to be handled. And that's one thing that God has shown me greatly in this season is because I'm a person of control. I want to control like everything. I'm just like, I feel like every minute, every time that I have, it's, you know, the way I have to invest it properly. And if I don't invest it properly, I feel like, I'm sinning or I feel like I'm not I'm not doing all that I was created to do or created to create so for whoever is under the sound of my voice it's not an accident that you're here hearing this hearing this word um whatever it is that you're sowing whatever it is that you're reaping just know that whatever it is and even though it's not what you feel that you need at the moment just know that God is working it all out for your benefit um as scripture says that for those who believe um whatever is done will reap you know prosperity for your life and even though whatever may you going on in your life right now it doesn't seem like you're reaping what you've been planting god's gonna work it out and eventually it will show up in your life and the one thing that i have realized a lot is that don't go try to be a chicken if you're an ego don't go try to be a chicken if you were created you know with flaws or whatever the world may say that you have whatever it is that you feel that is flawed is going to seriously bless your life 
I will tell you that there's a lot of things that I have experienced growing up and they broke, you know, a lot of me in the inside of me. But because of that brokenness, I realized that where God is coming to heal my brokenness, the more that he just, you know, just smooths out and heals those broken or scabs or he's just laying his love on, on my wounds. And with my wounds, I have a lot of wisdom. I will tell you that God has just blessed my wounds with wisdom. And the reason why I bring this word to y'all or how I'm able to bring this word to y'all is straight up from God. Everything that I have experienced that has brought me grief or sorrow or pain or that has died in my life, it's rebirthed something beautiful. And even for like right now what I'm going through, like I have so much joy in my heart and I, I even realized that there's a lot of things trying to come and rob me of my joy, but I'm not going to let anything come in and take that. And once you come to a point in your life where you have God like being your, your love and he's being your, your vindicator, he's just being the source of everything for you, no matter what comes your way, after you've been broken or hurt or you've experienced some type of death in your life, when God breathes life into you, he will supernaturally rebirth things in you that you thought had died. But because he let them die a specific way, he's rebirthing them. And like I mentioned that we're all pregnant. We're all walking around with um, some of us are already um, about to give birth. Hi, queen. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> um, uh, so as I was saying, I got distracted. Sorry, bring it back, Holy Spirit. So what I'm saying is that all of us are walking around pregnant. All of us are, are have something. Some of us are already in labor. Some of us are already having contractions. Some of us are pushing. And I will tell you that the, the more pressed you are, the more hurt you're experiencing, the more pain that you're in, you're probably contracting already. You're contracting. You're about to push that baby out. And whatever it is that baby you have, it's, it's a business, whether it's a real, real baby or if it's a wife or a husband, whatever it is that you're birthing, I'm in prayers for you and I'm agree in agreement for you that even if you're experiencing grief, sorrow, and death right now, I'm in agreement with you that whatever it is that had to die in your life, even though you don't ex understand it or you didn't want to experience experience it if you're uncomfortable if you're in a very uncomfortable place right now you're exactly probably where god wants you and the reason why you're uncomfortable is because when we're uncomfortable is when we're growing and i will tell you as a control freak i myself i realized that something that i was always so worried about you know it, it got removed from my life and i realize now that yes it's for a season but i've realized that it's allowed me to kind of just just let go and let god work it out let god take care of it yes we pray yes we continue working and preparing for what it is that we're waiting on but at the same time let go and let god i i would say it and i would hear it and i realized that the only way you can truly let go and let god is when you're at the end of the rope when you've already experienced where you're in your face you know just like okay lord like you know because many times we wake and we surrender we submit and surrender to god but what I realized is that you submit and surrender to God certain areas, certain things. To really let go and let God is when you realize that you're in an uncomfortable place. But then you start seeing that God is at work. Praise Jesus. He is at work. And when you start getting like, even if you don't have confirmations, you have this inner peace that is just surpasses all understanding to where you're just like, I feel happy. <laughs> and people are looking at me like, why are you so happy? Like you should be like this, like this, like this. And I'm like, I don't know, but I'm happy. And I don't want to let anything or anyone come and try to devour it or destroy it because my happiness and my joy, I use it to bless others. So whatever it is that you have, whether it's wisdom, education, whatever it is, smiles, you have uh, kindness, you're serving people, um, use it to bless others and just watch what God will do with it. And you're going to encounter some people that are going to be rude and you're not going to understand. But you know what? The ones that seem the most unlovable are the ones that need it the most. And sometimes there's people that are like yelling or whatever and they just need like a hug or they just need like a kiss or they just need some type of form of affirmation of love. And they may resist you and they may push you away. I myself have been there and I realized that the more I would push people away, it was just the more love that I wanted. But because I grew up with um, toxicity as a young child, I didn't recognize it until I let God come and heal my wounds. But healing my wounds and allowing him to heal those wounds, I got great wisdom. So I think back now and I wonder to myself, would I want to change the things that happened to me as a child? Like, 
And back then I would say yes, but I will say now at 37 years old, like, no, no, because a lot of the things that have happened to me, I've been able to protect others from. And I, be able, I, I can tell now when someone has walked through what I have walked through or they have experienced something that I have experienced and I can somehow give them a word or I can pray for them and I can recognize that whatever it is that they're going through, they don't, they don't know how to deal with it. But if I can give them a prophetic word or a hug or something that the Lord guides and directs me to bless them with, that's where I notice that God does healing in me. So whatever it is that you feel that you can recognize in other people's behaviors, because many times, especially children, um, they don't know how to express themselves. And the more that they push you away, it's the more love that they want. They're just not used to it. They're used to being in a toxic environment or maybe they don't, they never experienced love. So they don't even know what it is. It's like us, you know, like me, when I go and I, like a lot of times they say when you're introduced to something good, when you get something bad, you'll never want it again because you're used to the good. And, and that's the thing is that all good is from God, except sometimes we want to accept like, to me, there's good things and there's God things. I don't want to get off subject, but to me, the good things, they come by, by my works. The God things come by God's works. So a lot of times I've mentioned, you may get something that is good, but is it God for the season? I don't know if that makes sense to you, but whatever it is you've been praying for, make sure that if you feel that it's you know presented itself, make sure that you pray and you ask God, is this really from you? Because sometimes you can get an invitation and when you get an invitation, God will still work it out for your good because he's a good and he's a, he's a loving, mercy, unconditional loving God. But I pray that this word, no but, but uh, there I go again. I pray that this word blesses you. I thank you for your time invested. And I'm sorry today that I was, um, you know, extremely late. Uh, because in the morning at times when I get up, because lately I've been trying to sleep a little bit later than I was like in November. Um, and I've just been doing other things that God is calling me to. However, I make a priority that I'm getting the video in, whether it's late or early. I just got to make sure I get the, the, the video in for y'all. So I pray that it blesses you. And I pray that... Um, you bless others with whatever knowledge or wisdom, revelation, insight, clarity in the name of Jesus. I pray that all of that greatness that comes from God, that you bless others with it. So in Jesus name, I pray that I seal this word. I pray that this word blesses your life. And I pray that um, everything that the Lord has invested in me to invest into y'all, that y'all take it forward and invest to others. So um, in the mighty name of Jesus, I, um, I just, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I'm entrusted with this you know, season in my life. And, um, I've been praying, I think I'm going to create a podcast, um, because God has been just revealing it to me. Um, so therefore when I wake up really early, I don't have to put on my makeup and stuff so I can just come live and, you know, from wherever I'm at, but, uh, I'm going to seal this word in the name of Jesus to seal this word. I pray that everyone that is under the sound of my voice, Lord, that they are blessed, peace, have peace surpass, that surpasses all understanding, prosperity, protection, Lord. And above all, for them to be filled with spiritual discernment, wisdom, insight, clarity, revelation, um, knowledge beyond their years of age. To have ideas and strategies, Father, that um, just that are beyond their years of age. To create generational wealth. To create opportunities, resources for, for people that are in need. I pray that they use all the the knowledge you have given them to be a solution because we are solutions lord that are walking around to create solutions for problems lord that are in this world we honor you we thank you father in the name of jesus i pled the blood of jesus over everyone that is listening to me i thank you lord for their time and i pray father that is invested well in the mighty name of jesus i pray for the desires of their heart the needs they don't know they need to be supplied and provided abundantly in the name of jesus to break generational cursings into blessings so thank you, uh, kings and queens, and I pray that this best. And remember that you are an heir to all of God's glory, richness, health, wealth, in the name of Jesus, and that you reign responsibly. And what I mean by reigning responsibly is that we all have authority and whatever it is that God created you to have authority over, whether it's your car, whether it's to have dominion over your home, you're leading your wife, you're leading your family. I just pray that you reign responsibly, reign responsibly. The one thing, I think it's in Jeremiah. There's a scripture that says that God created us to uh, plant, uproot, uh, destroy 
Whatever it is that he's called you to plant, destroy, uproot, break in the name of Jesus, I pray that you do it responsibly and I pray that you uh, die to the flesh so you can do it through the power of the Holy Spirit. So in Jesus' name be blessed. Thank you for your time again. Um, I pray that it blesses you and you feel free to, la to share this video. Please do. Um, and also I have it on YouTube, a YouTube channel where I do Bible and beauty study, where I do makeup, makeup techniques, hair techniques, everything to do. But I also incorporate God's word with it. So in Jesus' name be blessed. Thank you for your time. I'll see y'all tomorrow. And um, Merry Christmas. I, I've been hearing people say Merry Christmas. Like it, it just blesses my soul and my heart because I, when they say Happy Holidays, it's cool. It's, it's alright, I guess. But I say Merry Christmas, and I just pray that you know that everybody remembers what the season is about because He is the reason for this season. So even if you're struggling financially or you're you know harvesting financially, just know that God, in the midst of everything, makes everything enough. So and Jesus name bless. Bendiciones. See y'all soon.